Welcome back to the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. Gonna go meet Lambert. Actually, I don't think I have been to this inn before. Have I? Oh wait, I actually have. Hello there. What? Yeah, I have. Farewell. All right, Lambert. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keridan lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Meet you outside Keridan's house. Wait for you in a gateway off the round. Can we talk? What about? Ever play Gwent? Of course. Even tried to teach Vesemir, but turned out he's just mule-headed. Why do you ask? Up for a quick hand? Huh. <laughs> Am I? Have you crying like a baby by the time I'm through with you? What's going on about the eternal fire working miracles? All right. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be a nice setup. Ah, he only has two of them. You win. Ah, oh, can't believe I gotta give up my unique card. Better your hands than someone else's, I guess. Oh, hi! Changeling rescued for the witch's trial. Hey, no, 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 What a freak. I'll have it for you next week. Ready? Mm-hmm. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in.
Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. Why does she have a sword? The woman there. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life with some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher, murdered in Elander, guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. Is he lying? Is he telling the truth? Maybe something in between. But Vienne was certainly... Uh... Uh, drinking her sorrow, so to speak. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell, rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Maybe it's fake, maybe it isn't. Makes me wonder. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Carradin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. 
without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. See you at Kermoran. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? I didn't know. I can't know if it's true or if it's not true. Uh, it's difficult to ju to to see it one way or another completely. I mean, maybe I should check the wiki. Maybe I don't know. Hard, but still. <laughs> ah, I know this quest. I do know this quest. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is some evidence. Geralt, what did you just fucking do? Okay, either way. I mean, maybe I'll find some evidence. Maybe I won't. Maybe there's an article on the wiki that says, well, he is clearly guilty or not. But it's unclear to me. Let me check this. There is a letter. Let me try and see if I can find it. That's the end of her letter. Notes. Ah, that's something to check on the wiki. You have the blood of many on your oh! <laughs> Alright, there should be a place to teleport soon enough. Yep. Just across the bridge. Let's get out of Novigrad. This is scandalous! You kept us off the day! The fruit on my cart's rotting! Mutant. Hmm. Worth it, worth it not, I don't know. Quests, quests, quests. They did at least improve the water after the game came out with blood and wine. It's better looking. I mean, from an environmental point of view, Witcher 3 is impressive. Not from a technical graphical level, no. There are games that look better than this. Uh, at least when it comes to technical graphics, but in... Camp army! No cross, no boat steel! Redanian army? Where are you hiding them? In, in here! Me! No seamans? Join me! King Ravodid army! Order got guard boats. Hmm. Boats are in pretty bad shape. Me! God boats, Red say, but no wood for to make a fence. Their boats, I, so me fence make a boat. Boats, God boats. Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Good? No good. Come good soldier man, say chargey man, what's boats? Peasanters, they steers peasanters' boats. That's literal, I don't know. Think I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. 
What happened next? Chargy men go, soldier men drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Buff. Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks. I help one army. Runner to runner. Holler, peasanters. Holler, soldier mans. Gentle. Move them apart. But all lie down, soldier mans too. But order had me watch boats. And what I? Trollalolo soldier man now. Trollalo just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. Heard you earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. Hungry go. Should no waste. Peasant has good food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big stew. Always good. A man-eating troll this near a city. Pretty dangerous. Tra-la-la-la! So pretty thing for you. Man's ingrate. Shell tough too. Crack for to soup make. Take long black. How do you like that silver? Well, that's one volunteer dealt with. <laughs> the volunteer. Right. He was just eating on the soldiers. Best I understand it is that the soldiers took boats from the peasants. The peasants killed the soldiers. He killed the peasants. And then Flame ate all of them. Ah. All right. Here's wherever there is. I expect some treasure or yeah. Hmm. Okay, boys. Silver.
All right, another sword. Not bad. Who had this camp, though? Couldn't have been the Redanians, though, could it? All right, enough of this. As fun as it might be to some people to explore, I couldn't give a damn about uh, any of this at the moment. That's what I mean, that's one of the main so-called advantages of New Game Plus, beyond the terrible balance. <laughs> Piss-poor class design... Uh, Piss-poor... <laughs> well, class design, what the fuck am I saying? Uh, Piss-poor design overall. And the fact that you're just gonna smash through certain enemies with ease, and then just encounter ones that will one-shot you regardless of what piece of gear you're using. Well, you see this, this in the base game and Blood and Wine, so yeah, great fucking time. Okay, there is a quest over there that I aim to do. It's clear as Don't you stare or I'll flood ah. some manners into you. The thinking customer will see right away. This deal is this side of the sacred. <laughs> Rum and supper. So oh, fucked up, one. Blood came out of here. Got a big dump brewing. Slap a new rice. Double shots. Pam, Pam Graham. Pam Graham. Prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy this time. Broad friends. Huh. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor, too. No, 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 they defend justice, for it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. You never asked, but since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. I wasn't interested in showing mercy to the damn fool, the nitwit. We can go at it here, or at my place. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> <sighs> I'm dying of poverty. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let me acquire that chunk of jade. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I certainly couldn't use it, right? So, why not? Jade is one of these three, so I'm gonna go to those Thanks locations help, and see what I can find. On a pilgrimage to the temple, that's a real fire. Jade here. Need to keep looking.
Well, I just fought a bunch of spiders that are much higher level than me. Oh. Whew! Well, guess we have to deal with the queen spider then. All right, not not the particular particularly big issue. Well, three of them is very different than just the big one on its own. So the big one and two smaller ones. These guys are very annoying because they are ca quite capable of dodging most of Geralt's attacks. So you need to use Axie in order to stop them in their tracks. But uh, I mean, it should be certainly doable. It's not a question of me being able to do damage. I certainly have the damage to kill him. That's not an issue at all. They take a lot of damage, in fact. Ah, use Axie on all goals. I mean, clearly I need to deal with these guys one at a time, otherwise it's just not going to happen. Uh, so just kill the two smaller ones possibly and then the big... The thing is, there's no way to run here. Once you get into an encounter, you're locked into that encounter, there's no run. I kind of hate this aspect actually. That, uh, it, it, like, you technically could run away, you can't though because of the fucking slope. Not fun. Yeah, there's only one way down there. Alright. I'll do it.
Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. All right, I need to rest um, if I'm going to do this because I need the potions to last for the entire duration. Problem is... All right. Okay. Why the fuck does he hit so hard through the Fucking hell. Oh, damn. Why the fuck does it hit so hard? <laughs> Through the Quinn. Through the Quinn. Not outside of the Quinn. Through the Quinn. I mean, I guess it's because it's two hits. One takes out the Quinn, the other one actually hits me. So, because it's two fangs that hit you each uh, one after the other. I mean, if, it, if it's necessary, I'll just, uh... Let's see how many we got. Oh, fuck my life. Maybe I should check if I can actually get the mutation. I mean, this monster is obviously too high level for me. It's 14 levels and I should deal with that. So, my weapon isn't good enough. My armor certainly isn't good enough. Uh, let's see here, actually. So, um... I need greater green. And greater blue. Over here. All right. We need a lot of herbs. White gull. I can't make the white gull? Alright. Mm, there we go.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Mine, you big bitch. Come on. Damn it. Not enough in. Damn. I don't have the quint. Shit. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I can slow it down with the damn Yurden? I don't know, I have no idea if it will work. Fuck you. Tense. Tense, tense, tense. It's just the fact that I can't lock it in in any particular point without it killing me, more or less. That's that's the real issue over there. Come and get me, bitch. That was just one attack, actually. What the fuck? Unless it's counting... Unless it's counting uh, the individual fangs as it... Yeah, Yerdon has no effect. you fuck damn fucking monster all right then
The issue is because it's so mobile, I have to wait for it to attack. I can't just... Yeah. That's the problem. I can't just go be aggressive against it because I'll just end up dead. Like that. Fucking shitty fucking design, really. You know, it is infuriating to have to deal with this kind of crap. Because, well, most encounters in the game, it's fairly simple. You just have to dodge your attacks, but you can be fairly aggressive and use the fact that you have a lot of firepower on your side to your advantage. With these enemies, that doesn't fucking work. Because that happens. Now, obviously, that's that's obviously the issue of the leveling factor. But obviously, you don't want to get hit. That's kind of the point of Geralt's playstyle. You don't want to get hit. pretty damn hard for that. Like when it comes to the vanilla game, yes, it was too easy to just be able to sound like enemies and all that. But there's solutions for the expansion just been to make everything fucking frustrating or for Geralt to die one shot against the types of enemies he had been dealing with uh with okay what <laughs> oh, fuck uh, And if I have to spend most of the fucking fight just getting to the enemy as opposed to, you know, dodging its abilities. No, just chasing a fucking impossible to hit the enemy. Ain't fucking fun. But because of the scripting is... I mean, this is just bollocks. I never got angry at the vanilla game, or very rarely got angry. Most of the time, you know, killing a high-level opponent, like I've killed a basilisk, as an example, and that was much higher level than me. That felt like a, you know, like I was actually, like the dance there was rewarding. Like it felt like a genuine opponent that, sure, I wasn't supposed to, but I could, at the very least. This just feels like bollocks. Like, these spiders are my most hated enemy in the game. Then there's the whole aspect of Tessamunda in, uh, in Blood and Wine. I am not looking forward to that. You know, the cage aspect about it. I mean, hell, part of the reason I made the choice to skip the final boss fight in Blood and Wine because I didn't want to deal with CDPR's bullshit. 
Because it is bullshit. And the only way you can make an interesting boss is... Actually, wait. Can I fucking parry his attacks? That's a good question. I doubt it. No, 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 no! Whew, get the parry key right at the proper moment. I didn't even think of parrying, to be honest. Okay. All right, I can't just... Oh, fuck. All right, so I can parry this shit. All right, not that it helps me all that much because the enemy recovery is very damn fast and you can't stagger enemies like this, so. Well, you can parry and attack and take no damage, but just, okay. Won't solve the problem. The issue is the closing, closing the gap between you and them. I didn't even think the parry would work on these shits. Okay. 
Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Son of a... It won't even fucking attack me. Most of the time it will just spit at me. Love Maybe it's worth getting spat on. Because it doesn't know it stuns you. And then it will try and melee you. Right? Do it, uh... What now, you So vexing, so, so vexing. You know, I haven't actually tried using Igni. I doubt it works, but when in doubt, right, bring in the flamethrower. I really do doubt it works, though. I don't think they're vulnerable to Igni. I think Axie is their weakness. But it's worth a it. trip. Nope. Come on. Show me what you got.
Yeah, great. So Igni doesn't work, R doesn't work, Axie barely works and it only slows it down, it doesn't stun it properly. What options do I have? What the fucking options do I have here? Come on. Fucking game. Alright. Let's see. Lines opponents in a target location. Dancing Star produces a fiery physical damage. Grape Shot, Dimeritium Bomb. Supposedly, you got blinded. Supposedly. But all it did is just got it. Uh, all, all happened is it just killed me right after, anyway. So. So the, it doesn't burn. Come on. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna get stunned. Fine. Like, I really just wish I could sometimes just fucking pick up the items without fucking fighting. Go in a cave, pick up whatever the fuck I need, get the fuck out. Where the hell is it, anyway? Where the hell is that jade? And you know, fuck it. I'm I'm here for jade. I'm not here for fucking spiderlings. So now that I realize it, I don't see any jade in this location. Hold on. Actually, where's the chest as well? Like, if there's treasure over here, I sure as fucking hope. Hell, hope it's worth it. Doubt it will be. Like all this effort for a random ass enemy. Won't give me anything interesting. Show me what you got.
Come on, you fucking piece of shit. Man, this is a bad trick. I didn't even hit it, fucking. Nice. He can get his own fucking jade. I mean, I don't think it's even in this cave. Now that I think about it. Then I get the jade from somewhere in the open. Not the fucking spider infested cave. I see. This is how you beat them. You wait for them to attack. As in jump on your ass. Then you get this. So come on and jump, boy. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Done. Fucking hell. Oh, that was totally worth it, boy. 500 orange. 450, 65 orange. That was worth a fucking King's Ransom CD project, really. Fuck you. <laughs> no, really. I'm not even fucking fighting these guys, really. I'm not. I couldn't care. Ironically, the jade might actually be over here? I don't see it. 
There we go. Jade. Now to extract some. I better have been fucking worth it. No, to be fair, that is actually worth it. Because it does give you access to upgrades. Geralt, are you gonna stand there like an imbecile? Thank you, I've had enough of your shitty movements for one day. Fuck you. Alright. Enough humiliation. Let's go! What's the fastest way to get the fury? Yeah, clearly I'm not gonna run there on my own. So, teleportation. I think there is something more to this than just you know, getting the jade. Made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got. Craft something for me, would you? Brought you more coin. Put it towards better equipment. Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me, truly. Your work's worth the coin. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. So, nothing holding you back now. From making mastercrafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got.
Got a bit more coin for you. Better be all you need. For tools it is enough, but ingredients rare also I recall. Nope, not gonna happen. Now let me see what my coins bought. Now have I all I require. Sure about that? My running costs to cover small sums will suffice. And no more rare stones do I need. Almost too good to be true. A cask of wine from the homeland I have. Our mutual success we should toast. Your health. For your aid, I thank you. My newest creations to examine you may wish. Invited you are to do so. Wouldn't mind a glance at what... Craft... Well, that wouldn't be too bad. So, glyph of reinforcement. I need the glyph of reinforcement. All equipped items, armor items are treated as light armor. I mean, there is obviously a benefit in having a quen sign being cast whenever. Yeah, I'm obviously not gonna get that. Glyph of reinforcement. At, and at maximum vitality, any vitality. Okay, no. When you cast a sign and your next sword attack is charged with the power of that sign. Each on black bow and please. Kind of pointless. I mean, here's the thing though. You lose the runes that you have. Is that worth it? I never found it to be so. Mm, no. Besides, the most dangerous enemies are not human. Thanks. So obviously, there is a use in having Quentine cast whenever you right you do that, but there is also value in having you know, all your pieces of armor being light armor. So that's kind of it for a moment. I need a break. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. 